Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you my Sephora and MAC haul. Now I did not just go out in one little shopping visit and get all of this at once. I've been shopping and I've got it over probably four or five trips. So it's a really big haul and I have some really good products here. A lot of new products that have came out recently so I wanted to share them with you guys. So let's get started. I'm going to show you this stuff that I got from Sephora first. And no particular order. I'm just going to pick from this huge bag that I have right here. And I'll show you all that stuff. And I only got a few things from MAC, so I'll just save that for the end. So the first few things I picked up were these YSL lipsticks. The first one is the Rouge Volupte lipstick in number one and the other one is the Rouge Volupte Shine and I'll take it out of the packaging. Sorry a lot of this stuff is in the packaging because I haven't messed with it. I've just been keeping it because I wanted to show you guys first. So this is the number one and it is a perfect like pink nude color. You can see that. And these and this packaging is to die for. Like I just love all the gold and how it says YSL and you can see the actual color of the product on the outside. And then the second one, the shine one, is in this really pretty coral color. This is in the number 14. There it is. So those were the two YSL um, lipsticks that I got. And then I just picked up this Anastasia Brow Wiz because I've heard everybody and their moms talk about this so I figured I would try it. And I've used it once and I really do like it. The spoolie at the end is amazing. It's just double ended. I'm not going to take it out and show you. It's all the same. One end has a spoolie and the other end has the product. And the color I got it in is soft brown. And it seems to work pretty good for my dark brows. And the next thing is this Rebellious um, Blush by Marc Jacobs. And it comes in this really cute pouch. Like this. It's very fancy. And inside has really sleek packaging. You just press the little button. And the top comes off. And here is the blush. It is a pretty, like, mauve pink color. Color is called Rebellious. So that's that one. And it also comes with a little brush, which I don't ever use, but I'll keep it. Um, I got a lot of blushes just because I was on, like, a blush kick. I got this blush by Cargo. And it's called Los Cabos. It is a gorgeous peachy blush with gold shimmer in it. It's got a nice sheen to it. It, rem it reminds me of the NARS Albatross. And then I picked up this NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I think this is a new concealer. I've never seen it, um, but I've heard people talk about it. And here's what the packaging looks like. And the color I got it in is Ginger, Medium 2 Ginger. I haven't tried it yet, but I think when I like tested it at the store, it was super creamy and easy to blend. So I'm excited to try this. And then I had no idea that, um, this is actually from Ulta, but I had no idea that Ulta carried It Cosmetics. I thought it was only sold online. so I was, I was excited to find this. And this color is Pretty in Peony. Peony, Peony. This is also a pretty pink blush with gold sheen to it. Alright. And I don't... For the... When I mentioned the um, Los Cabos blush. I don't, did I compare it to NARS Albatross or NARS Orgasm? If I said Albatross, I meant <laughs> Orgasm. So there you go. Corrected myself. So next product I want to show you is this 
Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And I got this because I heard April from April Athena, I think number seven, talk about this. She did it in a Get Ready With Me video and her face looked so beautiful and flawless so I really wanted to try this. It states that it's oil-free makeup and long wear makeup so I'm excited to see how this holds up. And then I just picked up a Stila eyeshadow. This is in Kitten. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this eyeshadow. It reminds me of the eyeshadow that I have on my lids today and the one I have on today is by Makeup Geek and it's called Shimma Shimma. But it's pretty similar to that. Um, really pigmented, an awesome color for all over the lids. And then I picked up this Ambient Powder by Hourglass because I heard Makeup by Tiffany D talk about it and after I heard her talk about it I heard more people getting into it so I figured I'd give it a shot. The one I got it in is called Dim Light and here's what it looks like. I use this to set my under eye concealer and sometimes I'll put it just in my T-zone. It looks beautiful. Here's a little swatch of it. It looks light but when it goes on it's almost like transparent like it blends really well so I've really been loving this. Now this is pretty expensive. I think it was like 48 bucks but I, it's really worth it. They have I think six different colors for all different skin tone so I would suggest trying that if you're in if you're looking for a new powder and then I got some of these new Urban Decay lipsticks that came out these are the Revolution lipsticks and I got Streak and Obsessed let me take it out of the packaging so you guys can see how gorgeous this is the packaging is amazing it's really sleek and it looks really nice Here's what it looks like. It's just like a gunmetal packaging and it says Urban Decay on the side. So this one is Streak. It's a nice coral color. And the next one is Obsessed, which is like a baby doll pink. So let me show them side by side. I hope the lighting isn't washing it out, but it's definitely a beautiful color and these feel so moisturizing on the lips. Um, they don't really stain the lips so they're not like super long wearing but they're beautiful so I would suggest trying these and they have like a variety of colors and they look really nice on the lips so if you're in for some if you're in the market for some new lipsticks definitely try these Urban Decay ones. Definitely worth the money. And then I picked up this Hourglass Visionaire eyeshadow duo and I love all of the Hourglass packaging. I think it's very sleek and it looks really nice and this is in Gypsy and it just opens like this and then the mirror you can like swivel it around. Really neat and the colors are just a like a champagne and a deep plum color. gorgeous and it comes with a little brush and I was just playing around with another eyeshadow and this is a pretty good brush to kind of use if you're on the go so I'll definitely hang on to that and then I got this Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation now this states that it's supposed to be 24 hour wear I mean, who really keeps their makeup on for 24 hours? Not me, and I don't think a lot of people do, but it's been like medium to full coverage for me. I wear it on top of the Locket foundation, like the liquid foundation, and it looks really beautiful. The color I have it in is medium 56, so it's just a regular powder foundation. Looks really nice on. And then I picked up this Tarte blush. I have been looking for this blush everywhere and every time I go to Sephora they're always out of it. So I went just the other day and I saw it so I just picked it up. It is called Tipsy and it is a beautiful coral color. You can see it right there. 
There it is on my hands, on my finger. That's right there. So this is called Tipsy by Tarte. Just a few more things. I picked up this Dior Addict Lip Glow. And I was kind of hesitant because um, I wasn't sure like if it was actually going to do what it says it does. Packaging is really cute. It has like a light pink cover on it. And it just twists up. But it is just like a light, like sheer balm almost when you put it on. It's like, like a chapstick almost. But then... It mixes with the heat of your lips and it gives you a really nice like pinkish red color over your lips and it lasts a really long time. So this definitely is worth it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it but as soon as I put it on and after like 10-15 minutes when I looked in the mirror and I saw my lips it looked beautiful. It just adds a really healthy look to your lips. It doesn't look like you have any lip gloss or lipstick on. It just looks healthy. And so the last thing I have from Sephora is this Lancome Gloss in Love Gloss. And I think this is one of their new glosses. And the color I have it in is, um, let's see, Blink Pink 312. And what I love about this gloss is if you look close, you just press this little button and the top comes off like you don't have to twist it or anything like that and the good thing about that is is that it's on the inside so this little casing never gets dirty because I like to throw my lip glosses in my purse and every time I open it I always have like you know little pieces of lint or hair or something just surrounding like the outside rim which is so disgusting but this prevents it from doing that because it's just enclosed but it has a nice little applicator it's kind of cupped so it cups your lips when you put it on it's a really nice like baby pink and it goes well with a lot of lipsticks and it just looks really natural so this is blink pink by Lancome alright so just a few things that I picked up from Mac one of them was this palette which I have some of my shadows in here already but just the palette they recently lowered the price on them so the palette itself is eight dollars and I also got the insert which I believe is two dollars but if you have the pro card um, if you're a cosmetologist or if you're a makeup artist then you get 30% off so I think like this oh, like total is like seven dollars for this complete palette which is so worth it for me because I've been using the Z palette but I mean why not use this for seven bucks it's so affordable and you can just put 15 eyeshadows in here so this is the MAC palette and then a few eyeshadows that I picked up was rice paper which is a perfect like brow bone highlighter it is a frost and what other ones I picked up mythology which is a luster looks like that really gorgeous like bronzy copper color and then I picked up expensive pink and this is a dupe for Makeup Geeks Cosmopolitan I believe it's a really really gorgeous color I love wearing this all over the lid and then the last thing I have for you guys is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I have used this already and I absolutely love it love it love it it gives great coverage underneath the eyes and doesn't look cakey it doesn't crease this is definitely worth the money it's amazing probably one of the best concealers I've tried in a really long time and it also comes with a little pump which is so convenient and the color I have it in is NC30 Alright guys, so that was my Sephora and MAC haul. I really hope you enjoyed and found this to be helpful if you're looking for some new products or to see what's out there. And I will see you in my next video. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below. Bye guys.